Okay, Hanifa and Rifat, uh, start sending the answers, I guess. By the way, this is not a test, okay? You can, I hope you have used your notebooks and you have looked inside here and there. Because uh, this exercise is just to let you know where things are in your own notebooks. Okay. Please, uh, like, don't try to do all if you can't do them. Na? Even if you know something and time is not there, please click a photo and send it to me because time is of more importance here. Okay, I've received an email. Okay, so first one correct, second one correct, third one, yeah, very good, Hanifa. Whatever you have sent is right. I'm waiting for Rifat now. Rifat, please send. So oxidation of one degree alcohol to carboxylic acid, this we can easily do with any strong oxidizing agent, right? So we can use here K2Cr2O7, KMnO4, Na2Cr2O7, HNO3, or chromic acid, anything else. So K2Cr2O7, let us just write. Now this oxidation of one degree alcohol to aldehyde, so we are not going till carboxylic acid, we are stopping at the stage of aldehyde. Then we need to use PCC, PDC, or Collins reagent, PCC, right, PCC, because in your textbook, PCC is the reagent that is given. Now, when we look at benzyl alcohol, then first thing is that you should know its structure. So benzyl alcohol is a benzene ring, and not with OH group, rather it has a CH2 group, which is further connected to OH group. Now, this carbon atom, which has halogen here, this is very similar to alcohol rather than phenol. I think this will do the reactions of alcohol only. And what we are doing, we are doing going from, this is one degree. We are going from one degree alcohol. So this, see, this carbon atom is attached to a, one carbon atom. That is why it is one degree. So we are going from one degree alcohol to carboxylic acid. So we can directly write here any of the strong oxidizing agent. We can write here KMnO4 now. Now, the rest of these reactions are older reactions. Okay, this is not from the last class, but we have done this in alcohol chapter only. Dehydration of alcohol. So it is done in the presence of H2SO4, right, with some heat. Then butane 2 on to butane 2 all. So we are going from ketone to alcohol. That means we are doing reduction. So you have two choices here. You can either use any, rather three choices, NABH4, or you can use LIALH4 or you can use H2 in the presence of PD, PT, or any other metal. Then we are going from propene, that means we are going from alkene to alcohol. So alkene to alcohol, we can easily go by hydration. That means H2O, acetic hydration. That is the first method of preparation that we learned, right? One of the first method of preparation for alkenes. Okay, now let us look at the following. Rifat, what happened? You did not send me anything. Sorry, sir, I had to leave for a bit, so I got a bit late. Sorry? I had to leave for a bit, so I missed like five minutes. You had to leave for a bit. Okay, so you can tell me. Okay, so, uh, Hanifa, please. Hanifa, you will write in chat, okay, because your voice it comes very slowly. Every night voice you have. So that is a you will write in chat. Sharifat, you can speak. You are more audible. I think Hanifa's system, it has low capacity to capture voices. Okay, so for the first one, tell me, when we have all the phenols, then we are going to look at the substituent. So what is the substituent here in this phenol? In this phenol, what is the substituent? Sir, 
फिनॉल में ओएच तो नहीं लगा हुआ है बेंजीन में ओएच लगा हुआ है राइट रिफत यस ऑन पीस यस सर समझ में आया हम जो वर्डिंग्स उसके फर्क समझ में आया बेंजीन में अगर हम पूछे क्या लगा है व्हाट इज सब व्हाट इज ऑन बेंजीन देन व्हाट इज द सबस्टिट्यूट ऑफ बेंजीन दैट इज ओएच बट नाउ व्हाट वी आर डूइंग वी आर सी वी सी हैव वी हैव हियर ऑल फिनॉल्स ओके सो वी नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सी व्हाट इज एडेड ऑन फिनॉल टेल मी व्हाट इज देयर ऑन फिनॉल इज देयर एनी सबस्टिट्यूएंट नो no so this will be none correct i hope yes. to put yaad aa what about here what is the substituent hanifa what happened you also please open up the chat right now and then just answer what about the b structure nitrophenol nitro group so it is electron donating or electron withdrawing um रिवीजन रिवीजन सी देखिए लास्ट क्लास के नहीं आते आ रही ना चीजें ठीक है एसिडिक कैरेक्टर बहुत अच्छा से लगा हुआ आप लोगों ने किया है लेकिन देखिए ये ध्यान नहीं आती चीजें रिवाइज कीजिए विद ड्राइंग ग्रुप यस हनीफा करेक्ट माइनस एम और माइनस आई रिफत स्पीक प्रॉपरली नाउ माइनस एम और माइनस आई माइनस एम Minus M. Okay. Okay. What about this group here? It is electron donating or electron withdrawing? Donating. No. Electron donating. Huh? Yes, sir. I got confused. Electron donating. Donating. Okay. So plus M or plus I? Plus I. Plus I. No, see first of all, this is OCS three. Okay, this is OCS three. We have done this, na? Methoxy. Uh, yes, sir. Kya bilisku? Ne kya aapko pata? Methoxy phenol pata hai hum log ne, ha na? Yes, sir. Okay, so see here. It is plus M at. ऑर्थो एंड पैरा राइट इट इज माइनस आई एट ऑर्थो पैरा एंड मेटा ठीक है तो मेटा में क्या हुआ सिर्फ और सिर्फ माइनस आई नथिंग एल्स नाउ ऑब्वियसली दिस पोजिशन हियर विच इज मेटा वी डोंट हैव टू लुक वेदर इट इज माइनस एम और माइनस माइनस एम और प्लस एम राइट बिकॉज द एम रेजोनेस डज नॉट हैव एनी इफेक्ट इन द मेटा पोजिशन नाउ वॉट वी हैव टू सी इज वेदर इट इज प्लस आई और माइनस आई Now, since it is bonded to oxygen, it is an electronegative element. That is why it pulls electron through the sigma bonds. It pulls electron through the sigma bonds. That is why it is minus i. What about this nitro group? Minus m or minus i? Um, minus i. Minus i. Very good. What about this O C S three group? Tell me, what about this O C S three group? It's a plus I. Plus what? I. Plus I. कैसे होगा? O C S three कभी भी plus I नहीं होगा. आप कहाँ देख रही हैं? Repeat. Yes. O C S It is plus M na on ortho yes. or para, right? It will be plus M. Okay. Now let us look at. Uh, okay. So here I think we can do very easily. First of all, we can say that this E will be least, right? No, because it has plus m. What is the order? Plus m is the least. Then we have plus i. Then we have none. Then we have minus i. Then we have the most acidic minus m. So, जैसे भी आपको जाना है, अगर आपको जाना है, uh, from highest acidic character decreasing order लिखा है ना, decreasing order यानी कि we have to start with the strongest acid. So the strongest acid here it is minus m. So minus m we have only one. So we don't have to choose anything. We'll just write here b, followed by minus i. Now we have c and d, which are minus i. Uh, in C and D, we can easily see that nitro group it has nitrogen and two oxygens also, right? That is why this will be more 
electronegative. And then we can write, this is the most. After that, we have D. After that, we have C, which is minus I. After that, we will have none, which is A. After that, we will have E, which is plus M. Okay. So as you can see, this is one. This is minus M. This is minus I, minus I. A is none. And M, this is plus M. Now, if you look at the table, uh, if you look at the order no, that we learned in the lecture, which was about alcohol's acidic character, there also you can see that M is will, M minus M will be having highest acidic character followed by minus I, then none, then plus M. Okay. So this trend is going to be there always. Okay. You guys are done? Yes or no, please tell me. Yes. Okay, right now. Electrophilic substitution of phenol. Anipa, after so much, may I ask you Yes or no, tell me. I could not hear anything what Anipa says. Ah, Anipa type well. Sorry. Okay. Electrophilic. Substitution of phenol. Right, number one, bromination. There are two reactions of bromine. Uh, there are two reactions of phenol with bromine. So in one case, we take polar solvent. In the other case, we take solvent with hydrogen bonded, or we can say non-polar solvent. So this is OH plus Br2. In the presence of carbon disulfide. So as we have carbon dioxide, so carbon dioxide is C double bond O and C double bond O. And here we'll have the dipole moment like this. So positive charge in the carbon, negative charge on the oxygen with this bond, and then we'll have a similar, but in the opposite direction. Now you can see that both the bonds are polar, but since they are oriented in a different direction, so these two vectors, they will cancel each other out. And that is why this is non-polar. Similarly, we'll have carbon double bond sulfur, carbon double bond sulfur. Here also you'll have this type of vectors of dipole moment and this is also non-polar. In the presence of non-polar, it gives us two different products. It gives us two different products. It will give me ortho substituted bromophenol plus it will give me para substituted bromophenol. Also substituted and bar bar substituted. Then next is when we have water. That means we have a polar solvent. So we have the R two, and we are doing this reaction in the presence of water. Now, when we add water and bromine, then we get tri-substituted bromophenol. What is the reason for this? We'll explain this reason also. Right here, OH, BR, BR, and BR. Please write these two reactions. Now, this is about solvent chemistry. Now, the solvent is changing, and we are also seeing a change in the product. And why is this happening? We'll write in a note. So please write this with me. In the presence of in the presence of water, the phenol converts to okay, which is a better acid, phenol or water? Tell me. Loudly, you have to chat me, please loudly, you have to chat me. Phenol converts to phenoxide ion. Full stop. As phenoxide ion. Has. 
as negative charge on oxygen atom it highly activates the benzene ring increasing the electron density at ortho and para positions ortho and para positions of benzene ring of phenolic of phenol hence tri substituted product is formed what will be the name of this one this will be 2 comma 4 comma 6 tri bromo phenol okay so we have a very high electron density on the ortho and para position so these are the two ortho and then we have one para position all of them become very highly electron rich because this oxygen atom it gets converted into phenoxide because water is what water is a weaker acid than phenol so phenol will donate its h plus and now we have o negative this o negative will increase it will show resonance right it will show resonance and then we'll be getting delta negative charges on the ortho and the para position okay and it becomes too highly activated activated means that we have high electron density at ortho and para position of anything any other substituted benzene ring that means we have activated that benzene ring once it is activated that means it is highly reactive since it is highly reactive so it will not wait for anything rather it will attract the br from all of these three positions okay and then we are going to get tribromo phenol okay write this down i hope you have written this let me know if you have not and then we'll write the next reaction check it on the next session so for nitration also we have two but we will look there at them one after the other so we have phenol plus if i use dilute hno3 then we are going to get Oh, it's two products: nitro OH at the para. Okay, OH at the para. Obviously, this is going to be your major product. Similar, same is the case for bromo also. So we have uh, the para bromo phenol. It is more uh, formed. It is a major product. Okay. Now, the point. to be noted about these two products here so right two points actually let me write a question how can you separate o nitrophenol and p nitrophenol Okay, so the answer is since O nitrophenol as if you remember intramolecular hydrogen bonding, intramolecular H bonding. and p nitrophenol
has intermolecular edge bonding form a O nitrophenol is more volatile. That means it can boil off easily. It's more volatile and we can separate them using separate them by steam distillation. Okay. After that, we will make the figures of these two. So O nitrophenol, it has intramolecular hydrogen bonding. That means the hydrogen bonding is in one molecule only. So that one molecule is not interacting or it is not attracted by another molecule, okay, through hydrogen bonding. And if I look at the T nitrophenol, Okay, so let us say we have another okay. Now in P nitrophenol, you can see that the hydrogen bonding it is getting together two different molecules. And if molecules are sticking together, that means it will be difficult to boil them off. That is why the P nitrophenol, it has higher boiling point and O nitrophenol is more volatile. That means it can boil off easily, okay? I hope you have understood the question and also the answer. I hope you have to just draw the structures now. And then we'll write the next reaction of nitration in concentrated HNO3. We have concentrated H2SO4. and you will get trying substituted product. This is two comma four comma six. Try nitro. also known as picric acid. I hope you guys are practicing the reactions, okay? Not just reading the organic chemistry notebook. I hope you guys are writing the reactions and practicing it at least on the days that you have classes, before the class, after the class, or the next day, okay? So between your two classes, you should have at least wrote the reactions one or two times. Let us say at least two times we should have written whatever reactions we have done in this class and then the next next class. Otherwise, you will be you will keep forgetting the things, and at the end you will be feeling like organic chemistry में तो सब रटना पड़ता है. Okay, now right, modern method of modern method of separation of picric acid. Modern method of separation of picric acid.
Okay. Now, in modern method, we start with sulfonation of phenol. Even though if you look at your NCERT textbook, you will see that sulfonation of phenol is not in the syllabus. But once you read the NCERT, then inside one very small paragraph, they have said that in modern method of preparation of citric acid, sulfonation of phenol is done. Okay. And after that, we, nit we do nitration of that at high temperature. Okay. Now they have just given the statements, they have not given the reactions. And they have asked you guys to write the reactions actually. Can you write the reactions of can you write the reactions of the above statements like this type of thing they have given? So start with concentrated H2SO4 to get benzene sulfonic acid. Another I should say hydroxy sulfonic acid. OH, SO3H, and then we will get one at Tara also. So my bad, should start the bond with sulfur. Now, both of these products, when they are treated with concentrated HNO3, then we, after that, we add concentrated HNO3. And what do we get here? We get here citric acid. NO2, NO2, NO2. Write this down fast, then we'll do one question. Done. Then write this question. Okay, I hope you have written the question. Now, don't start writing the answer. You look here. First of all, we look at three methyl phenol. Okay, we'll understand the structure first. Of all. OH, and then we have methyl in the third position, that is CS3 here. Okay. Now we are doing nitration, nitration, nitration. That means you are doing electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction. Now, first of all, you tell me here, o, o, uh, this hydroxy group, it is ortho or meta, ortho para directing or meta directing? Okay. This ortho para directing or meta directing, tell me guys. Meta. Write, uh, write your answer in chat. I can't hear anything. Okay. 
नहीं पता रिफत एंड हनीफा रिफत वॉट अबाउट यू अच्छा पे मेटा प्रोडक्ट दिख रहा है आप लोगों को दिमाग कहा है आप लोगों का विवजा को सब जाने वाली बातें कर रहे हैं आप लोग यहाँ पे एक मिस्टेक हुआ मेरे से और तो पैरा डायरेक्टिंग है ना अभी तो इतने सारे रिएक्शन थे और मैं आप लोगों ने देखा कभी भी मेटा प्रोडक्ट बना है वॉट इज दिस रिफत एन हनीफा Tell me, what is this product? Ortho, para, or meta? This product here is ortho, para, or meta. This one, this one, ortho, para, or meta. Sir, ortho. What about this one? It's para. What about this product here? Ortho. What about this product? Para. What about this here? Auto. And this is? Para. So you don't know, like even after you have seen ortho and para directing, the effect of it, but still you are seeing meta. Why you are seeing meta? Tell me. Repeat, tell me why you are seeing meta. अरे ये क्या रीजन है मतलब हम कोई ऐसा रीजन केमिस्ट्री का रीजन नहीं पूछेंगे अगर आप ये भी बोलेगा ना सर यही याद था दैट्स आल्सो अ गुड रीजन टेल मी सर आई गॉट कंफ्यूज्ड एट द मोमेंट आई वाज अच्छा आवाज नहीं आती ना तो मेरा ये ठीक से बोलिए क्या हुआ यू गॉट कंफ्यूज्ड आई आई जस्ट सेड इट सडनली आई गॉट कंफ्यूज्ड इट वाज माय मिस्टेक हाउ डू यू चेक whether something is ortho para or meta Sir, the first position is ortho, then para, then meta. Okay, I am asking about the group actually. Like the OH group is ortho, para, or meta. How will you decide ortho, para, or meta? How will you decide? So by the position. Okay. By the position. Nitro group will be what ortho, para, or meta? Anifa and Rifat, ortho group. Sorry, nitro group will be ortho para or meta. If you don't, अभी तो हमने reactions दिखा दिए ना तो आपको पता चल गया. But मान लीजिए reactions नहीं दिखाए होते. तो फिर? Okay. अभी हम से तो आपको सिर्फ बताएंगे वेदर समथिंग इज ऑर्थो और पैरा ठीक है और तो पैरा कौन कौन से ग्रुप हो सकते हैं एंड दिस बेनजीन रिंग इज अटैच टू सम आइटम यहाँ पे कौन से आइटम से अटैच है बेनजीन रिंग बताइएगा जरा व्हाट इज द आइटम हियर व्हाट इज द आइटम आई कैन आई कैन नॉट हियर यू प्लीज राइट In chat at least, Anifa, Rifat, what happened, guys? What is the atom? Benzene ring is attached to dash. Oh, it's no. Which atom? The first. Chat me, write me, tell me. This benzene ring is attached to which atom? I don't know where you are looking, Anifa. Benzene. ring is attached to which atom? First position में ही बताइए यहाँ पे किस आइटम से अटैच है आप लोग आप लोग बोलिए तो एक बार बोलिए गलत आंसर ही दीजिए कम से कम माई गॉड रिफत वॉट वन आइटम होता है क्या आप लोग क्यों गुस्सा दिलाने वाली बातें कर रहे हैं यहाँ पे आई एम आस्किंग दिस बेनजीन रिंग इज अटैच आवाज नहीं आ रही तो फिर अलग बात है सॉरी बट दिस बेनजीन रिंग एट द फर्स्ट कार्बन इट इज अटैच टू विच एटम
हनीफा एंड रिफत इट इज अटैच टू विच एटम प्लीज ये मेरे ना मतलब कोई केमिस्ट्री का सवाल नहीं है दिस इज अ टेस्ट हाउ गुड यू आर एट लिसनिंग वट द क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग द फर्स्ट कार्बन आइटम इट इज अटैच टू विच एटम दिस वन कार्बन दिस कार्बन आइटम हियर जिसको हमने ब्लू से भी मार्क कर दिया ये बेनजीन के दो कार्बन से तो सिक्स से भी जुड़ा हुआ है टू से भी जुड़ा हुआ है और किससे जुड़ा हुआ है चैट में लिखे आप प्लीज डोंट योर माइक ऑन राइट द आंसर इन चैट प्लीज हाँ करेक्ट है नीपा इट इज नॉट अटैच टू ओ एच एटम ओ एच एटम तो ही ना होता है ऑक्सीजन के साथ जुड़ा हुआ Which atom? Tell me, guys. Refer to Hanifa. The first carbon atom is attached to which atom? Sir, O. O. Oxygen. Very good. Does oxygen have lone pair electron? Yes. So this atom here, which benzene ring is directly attached to, we call it a key atom. What do we call it? What do we call it? Key atom. Key atom. Now, if this key atom Has lone pair or negative charge, then it will be ortho para directing. Okay. Or if it is CH three, or the CH three is the only group which does not have. Which does not have CH three. के अलावा आपके पास कोई भी alkyl group होगा. That was that is also a ortho para directing group. Okay, so CH three is the only group which does not have lone pair, but it is it still shows ortho para directing nature because of hyper conjugation. अब हम hyper conjugation नहीं समझाने जा रहे. Okay, if you want to understand hyper conjugation, just ask me on WhatsApp. I will send you a link of my video from eleventh standard. You can go over it. If you have any doubt, then I can tell you. Okay, so ortho para is what key atom has lone pair electron or negative charge, then it is ortho para directing. Now, so OH is what ortho para directing? Yes or no? Please tell me. OH is ortho para or meta? Ortho para. CH3 is ortho para or meta? CH3 is ortho para or meta? Ortho para directing. ठीक है सी एस थ्री क्या है ऑर्थो पैरा डायरेक्टिंग ग्रुप ओके नटल मी फॉर ओ एच वॉट आर दी वॉट आर दी पोजिशन विच आर ऑर्थो ओ एच के लिए ऑर्थो पोजिशन कौन कौन से हैं फॉर ओ एच वॉट आर दी ऑर्थो पोजिशन वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स में बताइए ना राइटिंग चैट वॉट आर द ऑर्थो पोजिशन फॉर ओ एच टू भी है सिक्स भी है ठीक है ध्यान रखिएगा प्लीज टू इज ऑल्सो ऑर्थो विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू ओ एच एंड सिक्स इज ऑल्सो ऑर्थो विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू ओ एच ओके एंड वॉट अबाउट पैरा Which carbon atom is para to OH? Which carbon atom is para to OH? Yes, correct. Refer to Hanifa. Just waiting for you. Please answer first. Which carbon atom is para to OH? Hanifa, do you know how to recognize ortho, meta, and para? Hanifa, do you know how to recognize ortho, meta, and para? Since Hanifa is not here in the class, okay. So the fourth position here it is para for OH. Hanifa, you can't hear me. Ripat, can you hear me properly? Yes, sir. Okay, honey. I think there is something on your side. Okay, so ortho is two comma six, and para for OH is which position? Fourth position. Now tell me for CH three, what is the ortho? 
for CS3, what is the ortho? For CS3, what is the ortho? Yes, correct reference. So we have ortho position at two and four. And what is para for CS3? Six, very good. That means, yes, Hanifa, very good. That means if a nitro group will come, then it will attach either on two, three, or two, six, or four, right? Because here we have, for ortho here, we have two comma four, and for para, we have here six carbon, right? That means the nitro group can attack, can get attached only at which position it can attach on the second position, this all this green positions, right? It can attach on all of these green positions only. But now let us look at all of these positions very carefully. Okay, let us look at all of these positions very carefully. First of all, we look at the second position that we have here. Now, for that, what I will do to give a more clear picture, I will give you the real picture what we have in the molecule. We have OH like this. And then we have CS3 group like this, right? Now, can you see that here where we have steric hindrance? We have a big bulky CS3 group, which is tetrahedral 3D in shape. Then we have OH group and the nitro group, which is very big, which has, okay. So this is the nitro group and this carbon atom, it this particular pi bond here, it will not be able to attack very effectively on this nitro group, okay? That is why this second position becomes unreactive. It becomes unreactive. Or rather I should say, it will become um, sterically hindered. Reactive to hai, electrons to iske paas hai, react kar sakta hai. Lekin jag hai, right? So it is sterically hindered. That is why in the second position, we are not going to attach nitro. Now, once we are doing what? Mononitration. That means for the first A, we are going to do mononitration. I will be getting two products. I will get one product in which we'll have the nitro group at which position? At the fourth position and then at the sixth position. So we'll have OH, CS3 as it is. So we have this position was for NO2. Plus I will get another product. OH, CS3, NO2, right? So we don't have any product on this position, which is okay. So we have, we don't have anything. Uh, uh, the second position here, it is unreactive because it is directly hindered. That is why the nitro group is not attached here. So much may I have no question of me? Yes. Okay. That means what you have to do, you have to add one nitro group in three methyl phenol. And there are two possible position. There are two possible position and that is why you are making two products. Now, tell me if I will, if I will do dinitration, then how many nitro group I have to attach? Tell me in three methyl phenol, how many nitro group? If we have mono nitration, I have to attach one nitro. Look, in every three methyl phenol, one nitro group is placed. When we do dinitration, how many groups are placed in nitro? Two groups. Okay. Now, how many possible positions do we have to attach nitro? How many possible positions do we have to attach nitro? Chat me likhe. Awaaz nahi aari. Ek to aap logo jab pata nahi raha tha, toh dhime dhime bolte hai. Haan, three. Lekin teen me se ek unreactive ho gaya because it is sterically and it is sterically hindered. Right, Rifat? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Right. So, how many positions We only have two positions left, right? So, we'll write the B product. No, we will write B product. Okay, let's leave it. And the other thing, we will write it too. You can understand what will happen to the product. Okay, if you have written it, then you I hope you understand that it is mentally taxing to understand this type of problem. But once you understand the reactant here, what is what we have and what are the reactive positions, then it is easy to add the nitro group. Then we have mononitration of phenyl methanoate. Now let's make phenyl methanoate. We will make phenyl methanoate. So we'll have carbon atom with the double bond O. Okay. 
carbon atom with the double bond O. Then we'll have oxygen in this side. And this oxygen is attached to Now this carbon atom will have what? It will have one hydrogen, right? CH, it is phenyl. Which one is correct? Okay, now you guys will tell me here. This oxygen atom, it will have lone pair electrons. So this group is ortho uh, para directing or meta direct? Ortho para directing or meta direct? Ortho para. Ortho para, right? Because key atom, it has. Key atom, what does it have? <laughs> It has one per electron. That is why. तो बताइए यहाँ पे आपके पास कौन कौन से रिएक्टिव पोजीशन है पोजिशन हियर इट विल बी हेंडर्ड बिकॉज वी हैव अ बिग ग्रुप दैट इज वाई यू विल गेट ओनली वन प्रोडक्ट विच इज नाइट्रो ग्रुप इन द फोर्थ पोजिशन ठीक है अच्छा जस्ट वन मोर थिंग जो हम आपको बताना चाह रहे हैं दिस क्वेश्चन इज इन एनसीआरटी एंड एनसीआरटी So if you see this name here, it is phenyl. So for phenyl, we have the benzene ring, right? So since carbon has been counted off, then they have written meth, right? Now if it is meth, that means we will have only one carbon atom. Now where is this one other carbon coming? Okay. So either there is a typing mistake here; it should be phenyl ethanoate. Then this structure is right. Okay. Then this structure is right. Otherwise, you will write phenyl. This is the correct structure of phenyl methanoid. Okay, so we will have methyl. Look, in this, what will happen? You will have the functional group. The functional group is what? It is O8 because it is C double bond O, and then we have O. Right? So C O O R. It is O8. Okay, C double bond O. 
O R. Now this is what this is O A, and then we are going to write one. Then we are going to write the unsaturation. So the unsat is A N because here we don't have any double bond, right? We don't have any double bond carbon atom. C double bond C नहीं है हमारे पास. So this is A N. After that we'll write going to write the parent. So parent is just one carbon atom, so it will be meth. And then we have on this oxygen atom we have this uh, the substituent. So which is uh, substituent here is uh, what is this? This is phenyl. Okay, so we'll have phenyl which is attached on the oxygen atom. So it will be in the we have meth. Let's you know eight. Meth in O8. Okay, so phenyl methanoid. So this is phenyl ethanoid. I guess NCERT has done a mistake and they should have written mononitration of phenyl ethanoid rather than methanoid. Okay. That is not a very big deal. I hope you will understand this. Now, following that, please write coal base reaction. Please write coal base reaction. Okay. When the sodium canoxide is heated with, when sodium canoxide is heated with, is heated with carbon dioxide. At around 400 Kelvin temperature and 4 to 7 atm pressure, sodium salicylate is formed. Sodium salicylate is formed. Which on further acidification gives salicylic acid. Gives salicylic acid. Here we have OH. First of all, we'll add any OH so that we get sodium phenoxide and then we'll heat that. Okay, so we are going to get sodium phenoxide ion. Have O negative, right? Plus we'll add CO2. Four hundred Kelvin, four to seven atmosphere pressure. Then what we are going to get? We are going to get. Here we'll have O N A, or we'll just have O H or whatever you can write here. First of all, rather it makes O C O O N A. As is the answer that we pass. N A, and we'll have C O O C O. And this comes with the answer. Okay. Just write here. O H C O O N A. Further H plus that means acidic uh, hydrolysis or acidification. It is going to give me salicylic acid. Okay. 
After this, you will write the mechanics. Mechanism after Samajne Kelia, force mechanic, you can be. So we'll start with uh, direct the phenoxide ion because we know that NaOH is a base, H plus is, phenol is an acid, H plus will be abstracted by the NaOH here, and we will be getting O minus and Na positive, right? So you have something like this. O negative. Then we have carbon dioxide. If you look at carbon dioxide, right? carbon dioxide has double bond O, double bond O. Now the electron density is going away from carbon atom because it is attached with oxygen, which is a very electronegative element. And the other side is also electronegative element oxygen. So this carbon here, it has a very high delta positive charge. That means it is very, very, very electron poor. And then the benzene ring comes and it attacks on this carbon atom here. Okay, this benzene ring comes and it attacks on this carbon atom. As soon as this carbon atom, it attacks here, this one of the pi bonds with oxygen, it will break any one of them. And you are going to get, okay. Now, when this attack is happening, this carbon is losing an electron. That is why this negative charge comes here and it makes a double bond here so that the carbon does not get any extra charge. So we'll have double bond O, okay. Then this bond is, no bond is there. We have rather COO negative because this electron has, this pi bond has transferred on the oxygen and then this pi bond has become this negative charge. We have this bond as it is, we have this bond as it is, right? Then we have here one hydrogen atom also. Now this oxygen atom, it has a double bond and it is also having some lone pair electrons. Now this lone pair electrons will attack on this hydrogen atom. This hydrogen atom will leave its electron to this as a pi bond leading to formation of what? A double bond, double bond, double bond. And then here we are going to have a single bond and this bond is going to back, go back like this and we are going to have OH, okay? The cyclic type of reaction is happening here. This lone pair electron is attacking on the hydrogen atom. The hydrogen is breaking its bond with benzene ring and it is going to oxygen atom and it is leaving the electrons to the benzene ring. And here the pi bond between oxygen and carbon, it is breaking this electron, this pi electron is going to oxygen atom. And this carbon is getting a pi bond with a pi bond from the electron that is given by hydrogen atom. And here we have COO negative as it is. Now when we have COO negative, there will be any positive here and there, but we don't write it. After that you had H plus and you will be going to get OH. COOH. So this is salicylic acid. Okay, salicylic acid. And what else name can we write for this? It is 2 hydroxy benzoic acid. 2 hydroxy benzoic acid. Okay, I hope the mechanism is clear. It's not very tough mechanism. It is also a kind of electrophilic uh, aromatic substitution of phenol. Because you can see that the carbon atom, it is what it is very, it is an electrophile, has a very low density of electrons. Next reaction that is Riemer Tiemann reaction. Colby is done. Okay. Well, this you write when phenol is treated with chloroform.
chloroform is CSCL3. Okay. When phenol is treated with chloroform in the presence of aqueous NaOH, in the presence of aqueous NaOH. At around 340 Kelvin, followed by hydrolysis, followed by hydrolysis, it leads to formation of. Salicyl aldehyde. Okay, it leads to formation of what? Salicyl aldehyde. Formation of salicyl aldehyde. In the first step, okay. first of all, rather, what happens? Look here, it is very important reaction chloroform with aqueous NaOH. Okay, so we have NaOH, which is a base. Plus we have hydrogen atom, which is attached to carbon atom, which is attached to chlorine, chlorine, chlorine. Now this, all of these chlorine, they will be making what? This carbon atom very electron poor. And this carbon atom will be further eating. And it wants electron from this hydrogen. And if it is going to take electrons from hydrogen, it will be coming, if this bond will be becoming a polar bond. And as we have more and more electron density towards carbon atom, this hydrogen will be getting more and more positively charged. And we can say that this hydrogen atom in the presence of a base, it will act as an acid because it is already having delta positive charge. So this OH negative can easily attach, attack here. And we are going to get, first of all, we are going to get from here. Let me write this again once more because the hydrogen and carbon bond was very small. Carbon and we have Cl, Cl and Cl. Now this hydrogen will leave its electron to this carbon atom and it will be get attacked by this OH negative, right? This OH negative here from here. Now this will lead to formation of, we'll get uh, HCO plus and Na positive that are fine, but we want to know about this CCL3. What will be happening to this CCL3? So we'll be getting here CCL3 and obviously this pi bond, sorry, the sigma bond has broken with two electrons. So we'll get here lone pair and due to this lone pair we have a negative charge okay so whenever we have a negative charge that means it is having extra electrons it is having extra electrons now in the presence of water because we are going to get h oh and then h that means we have water now this will lead to formation of this will lead to formation of the cl negative ion will leave out with it one of the extra electron Plus the carbon will left will, will be left with CCl2 and two electrons. Okay, and this is very important. This is an electron deficient species. Why? Because this carbon atom it has how many bonds? Can you please tell me? How many bonds this carbon atom has? How many bonds, guys? What happened? Two bonds. This two bonds. That means four electrons. Then we have the fifth electron here and we have the sixth electron here. So this carbon atom in total, it has how many electrons? It has six electrons, okay? So it is a six electron species, which is known as carbene. Carbene chemistry is not in your syllabus, but in this reaction, you have to know that we form a carbene. And carbene is what? Carbene is carbene is electron poor as it has incomplete incomplete to complete kar lijiye matlab samajh rahe hain aap incomplete ko kya karna hai complete karna hai complete nahi kar dena lekin complete karna okay so carbene is electron poor as it has incomplete octet okay then the next reaction that happens is see we have the phenoxide ion because we are doing this in aqueous naoh right so we'll have same type of reaction Hannah, because this is also electron poor O negative. So this negative charge will come down and CCL2. Now this is not, this may seem like lone pair, but it is still electron poor, okay? 
बिकॉज इट हैज इलेक्ट्रॉन तो उस फंडे पे जाइएगा कि ऑप्टेट कंप्लीट नहीं है ये इलेक्ट्रॉन बाहर दिख रहा है इसका मतलब ये नहीं कि इलेक्ट्रॉन बहुत है इसके पास एंड देन दिस पाइबन विल अटैक ऑन टू दिस कार्बन आइटम लीडिंग टू फॉर्मेशन ऑफ अवॉट लीडिंग टू फॉर्मेशन ऑफ समथिंग लाइक दिस we have double bond o these bond are as it is here we have one hydrogen atom and here we have carbon with two chlorine atoms carbon with two chlorine atoms okay now once it has attacked onto this carbon atom and now what it will have it already had electrons and then it already had how many electrons six electrons now it got more electrons that is why it will get one negative charge theek okay? hai यहाँ पे छे थे हमारे पास उसके बाद फिर से अटैक हो गए यहाँ पे तो इट हैज गॉट हाउ मेनी नाउ दो चार ठीक है आठ और एक एक्स्ट्रा इलेक्ट्रॉन ओके सो दैट इज वाई दिस विल बिकम सी सी एल टू एंड देन देर विल बी नेगेटिव चार्ज ये सी सी एल टू एंड देन देर विल बी नेगेटिव चार्ज ये देखिए ना ऐसे है आपके पास सी एल टू एंड देन These two electrons are as it is. उसको तो कुछ हुआ नहीं है. So we have how many? Three bonds. That means we have what? Six, right? And then seven, eight. Now it will have negative charge here like this. Okay. And due to this negative charge, it will attack onto this hydrogen atom. This hydrogen will give its electron to this one. This oxygen will give take its electron from here. The last time oxygen was uh, giving the elect oxygen was giving the electrons to hydrogen and it was attracting it. But here we when we once we have carbon with negative charge, this carbon atom is going to take the hydrogen rather than oxygen. Then we get O negative, and we have this as it is, this as it is, and this bond is broken, and we have got the benzene ring once again. This is negative charge, and here we have CHCl two. Now, in the in the next step, what is going to happen? We'll add NaOH. so NaOH it is a base it will react with what CHCl2 है right? ना so it will form NaCl and instead of Cl it will give it what it will give the OH negatives so it will form benzene ring as it is O negative and then here we'll have carbon hydrogen with one OH and then another OH now as you know remember the first class of alcohols We said that if we will form gem diol, that means if one degree carbon has two OH, then it will convert to what? Can you please go to the first class and tell me? If one degree alcohol has two OH atoms, then it converts to what? Dihydrogen. Dihydrogen. Yeah. Dihydrogen. आप कॉपी में देख के बोल रही हैं विफल? Yes. नहीं 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 वो हम नहीं बोल रहे रहे हैं हैं हम हम ये नहीं पूछ रहे कि नाम क्या है है इसका है ना हम पूछ रहे हैं कि अगर आपके पास एक कार्बन में दो ओएच ग्रुप लगते हैं तो वो स्टेबल नहीं होता ऐसा भी हमने पॉइंट लिखा था यस हाँ क्या बन जाता है फिर वो एक कार्बन हाँ बताइए एक कार्बन में दो एच अनस्टेबल होता है तो फिर क्या हो जाता है चेंज हो जाएगा ना फिर तो कोई चीज स्टेबल नहीं है तो अगर कोई चीज अनस्टेबल है तो स्टेबिलिटी की तरफ जाएगी यानी कि चेंज होगी तो चेंज होके क्या हो जाता है पढ़ के देखिए पढ़ के देखिए आगे पीछे क्या बन जाता है रफत जो से बोली जरा सी एच ओ है ना सी एच ओ का जो स्ट्रक्चर होता है दैट इज कार्बन डबल बॉन्ड एंड देन विल हैव हाइड्रोजन ठीक है अब आपसे कोई पूछे है ना बच्चे आते हैं बच्चे क्या पूछते हैं सर इंपॉर्टेंट बता दीजिए है ना क्या पूछे सर इंपॉर्टेंट बता दीजिए है ना दैट मीन्स दे विल आस्क सर ये इंपॉर्टेंट है क्या आप ये खुद बताइए ना दिस स्मॉल थिंग दैट वी हैव हेयर इट डिटरमाइंस एंड वी वी हेल्प दिस इज हेल्पिंग अस ठीक है? 
सर टेल मी वॉट इज नॉट इम्पॉर्टेंट जिसको जो सवाल कभी एग्जाम में नहीं आया जहां से तो दो टीचर्स कैन टेल लेकिन इम्पोर्टेंट क्या है ये सवाल मत पूछा कीजिए ओके वेरी बेसिक माइन्यूट थिंग्स आर ऑल्सो इम्पोर्टेंट सो राइट दिस कंप्लीट मैकेनिज्म ओके एंड देन वी स्टार्ट द टेस्ट लिख लिया है क्या आप लोगों ने बस लिख लिया आप लोगों ने ना ठीक है हम चार मिनट देखिए तीन मिनट पहले दे रहे हैं आप लोगों को पेपर आप लोग भी जल्दी भेज देगा छोटा चो, पेपर बनाया बहुत ज्यादा बड़ा नहीं है बट ये कि आप लोग प्रिपेयर करके आए हो बस इंस्ट्रक्शन देख लीजिए एक बार ठीक है अच्छे से आई होप इट इज विजिबल एवरीथिंग इज विजिबल ओके एंड देन यू हैव टाइम थर्टी मिनट्स एंड मैक्सिमम मार्क इज टेन मिनट ओके थर्टी मिनट्स टाइम प्लीज स्टार्ट सऊदी अरेबिया के हिसाब से छह बजे आप लोग सबमिट कर दीजिएगा मेरे व्हाट्सएप में and one more thing is that if you have any doubt in any one of the questions then you will please speak out okay don't message me on chat because chat can get ignored notification nahi aaya to humko pata nahi chalega okay so if you have something to say then please speak out okay yes sir 